No, it was very interesting because, you know, when I got my first Leica and I got my Ilford film and I went to Defusky Island and I took those pictures, the next thing I did was I got on a Greyhound bus and went to New York and went to the office of Magnum. And I was like 18 years old, you know. Uh, and, and who should I meet there but Cornell Campo was in the office. Mm -hmm. And he, and he looked at my picture, he said, oh, very nice young man. He said, uh, he said uh, uh, I'm, going, I'm going down to, to the bar to have a drink. Will you join me? So, so I'd never been in a bar. And I, I went uh, to the bar and, and uh, so he ordered scotch and he said, well, you have, I, I said, I'll have the same. And so <laughs> I've been a scotch drinker ever since, <laughs> you know. And, and then of course I went back to, back to Columbia, South Carolina, you know, and, and uh, he said, you know, when you, later on, he said, when you finish your, I had to go into the army and all of that, and, you know, I was a draft and, and, and there was a draft and those, he said, come back and see us, you know, and eventually, years later, I, that's another story about how, how I joined Magnum, you know, and <clears throat> I guess, <clears throat> I, I, you know, I finally, uh, I, I uh, got some money together from a, a wonderful uh, publisher gave me uh, enough money to allow me to go to Greece to start working. This was now 1962, all right, jump ahead. In the meantime, in the meantime, uh, I had worked as a photographer at a music festival in North Carolina. And I was a, a bad musician, I was a bad flute player, so, and my sister went there with her violin uh, as a student. So I got a job there as, as the camp photographer and they built a dark room for me, a wooden dark room, no air conditioning in the summertime. And it was so hot in there that I would take all my clothes off and start naked a photographer in there making prints. And and at any rate, you know, and all this all this all my interest in classical music and my work of which I'll tell you about, uh, starts uh, my father's restaurant was down the street from a pawn shop and one day he was walking by the pawn shop with my little sister who was about six years old seven years old and she saw a violin in the window and she started crying and wanted it and he bought her the violin mm. <clears throat> and of course then she started taking lessons from a music teacher and then I wanted an instrument too so I got a clarinet and that got us plugged into the whole classical world of music you know so I became the photographer at, at, at this music camp and then after that music camp, I heard about a place called Tanglewood. Hmm. And, and I, I wrote a letter, uh, Dear Sirs, uh, uh, to, to the uh, Tangle, Boston Symphony Orchestra, you know, Boston, Massachusetts. The letter ended up in the hands of the publicity director, the, you know, the PR director for Tanglewood, who was living in New York in the wintertime. So I got a letter back, and I sent them my clippings from this vessel. So I got a letter back uh, saying, Dear Mr. Manos, we have seen your work. Please come to New York with a, a ticket for the, no, with a ticket for a Greyhound bus. Please come to New York for an interview. I got on the Greyhound bus, went to New York for an interview. Then the, the PR guy said, oh, well, we, I like your pictures. He said, he said you're hired. I was hired to be the official photographer for the Boston Symphony at Tanglewood, you know, and, and I guess I was about uh, 18 years old. Oh. So I, I, I put my darkroom equipment in the trunk of my Ford, drove to Tanglewood, and, there, and they, they built a darkroom for me when I arrived, and I photographed Pierre Monteur, Leonard Bernstein, Rudolf Serkin, I was backstage with them. I was backstage in the room with Isaac Stern, and he had this double violin case sitting there and, and I was sitting there waiting, you know, and, and he said, young man, he said, you know what those violins are? I said, no, sir. He said, they're Stradivarius, both of them. Huh. And so I had these wonderful musical experiences and, you know, it was just like heaven. It was, so I did three summers at Tanglewood. Then I went back and later, a few years later when I got out of the army, I did a book on the Boston Symphony. I had the run of Symphony Hall photographed you know, with telephoto lenses during the concerts, hiding in the organ loft, uh, you know, wearing a Fano of the Opera black, everything was black, <laughs> and, and uh, 
And then they, I, have a, I have a famous picture of Charles Munch from up above. I was in a trap door directly over the conductor during a concert with the camera uh, clamped to the edge of the trap door looking straight down and I have this picture of him with his arms spread and you know they, they were you know it was just a, a, what a life you know I can't believe it you know that, that I was just this kid but you know I was I guess I was lucky uh, you know that I had these wonderful experiences.